Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got an unbalanced rack, only one vowel, and a lot of high-scoring tiles, but it's certainly too good to change. So with three high-scoring tiles, I'm looking to play off all of them, or at least two of them. Wow, what a start for opponent. Absolutely fantastic bingo. Do any of the vowels give me a bingo? Nothing with the E or the I, although I have fish as a component part of a word. How about the A? No. So I've got FY in row I, leaving quite a decent set. No O for hoofy. I do have hefty, which gets rid of everything, and the rack leave is fine, and I think this is overall a better move than phi. Okay, this looks close to a bingo. B and W perhaps, meaning, meaning there isn't one, but it feels that there could be one here, possibly an eight, and quite a few floaters to consider. So with the S, I'm not seeing a seven, but with the S I have the less and ness ending. So not seeing anything with less. How about ness? No, not seeing anything. Okay, I have the ubble ending with the A. Snowable, not good. Ownables, not good. And I'm not seeing anything else. How about the I? And I've got snow as a component part of a word. Snowbell onto an L. And have BE as the opening prefix. So how about the N? Doesn't look particularly useful. Through the I, bowlines. Wow. I felt to some extent I was going through the motions there as nothing had come to mind, but I do have a bingo through the I. Bow lines. How about the T? Snow belt, but that doesn't play. How about the Y? Not seeing anything. U takes a B in front, so if there was a 7, it may play in row E. But I'm not seeing it. Wow! I didn't think I had a bingo here. Bow lines for 66. And not a great pickup, but I do currently lead. I've survived that opening bingo from opponent. This is a balanced rack, but U and V go badly together. And opponent struggling with U's. I know the feeling. Now, how to sort this rack out? Well, a play of ovum or vum would certainly sort it out. And I can play that in column three. And possibly other places so let me consider I have ovum through the O of bowlines ovum takes an N in front I'm not sure if it takes an S I think ovum and novum are pairs of words one of which takes an S and one doesn't but do check that I may be wrong and any alternatives to ovum and novum, ovum and vum rather. So I can play ovum here. I don't think the N front hook is particularly dangerous because it will provide access to triple word squares. This rack leave is good. I think getting rid of the O is a good thing. It helps the vowel consonant balance. And it's not a particularly bingo-y vowel. And there's already a floating O on the board. Only 22 points. That's not great. But I'm not seeing anywhere better. Okay, well, looks close to a bingo, but do I have one? Far fewer floaters on the board now. Great, opponent again playing off a few tiles for a low score and plays off an N. Possibly he doesn't know the N front hook. 
let me consider his rating. He's a couple of hundred points below me. Well, there certainly are some strong 1,500 players, so I'm not going to make too many assumptions about his his skill level or word knowledge. So there's the S, not seeing anything. There's B O. No, how about O N? I think having G and I without the N is hampering bingo prospects. And what about a double-double in row E? So it could end onic. No, not seeing anything. So how to sort this rack out? Iron takes a C in front, which I've got, but then that in turn would take an S in front. A play of MIG would be helpful. C, C, G and M do not go well together. So I'm looking to get rid of G, M and I, which I can do with MIG. But where does MIG play? Well, I could play Jism for 11. Very low score. Sorting the rack out quite well. Sight is a bingoy rack leave, however, it's unbalanced equal number of vowels and consonants when an ideal rack leave has a preponderance of consonants, preferably two more consonants than vowels. And the reason for that is that there are so many vowels in the bag, it's very easy to draw two or three of them. And as soon as you've got four or five vowels on your rack, your bingo prospects diminish. So a lot of rack leaves are judged on how well they can survive a pickup of vowels, and this rack leave is vulnerable. So that being said, can I do any better than Jism? I could play MIG in column 9, 12 points, and providing an S lane. Not keen on that. My T can go in front of Utu. So I do have Metic on my rack. I have Miss Sight through the S. I could play I could play Tice, but that's retaining G and M. Emo is good. Interesting. I could play Metic. In column two, let me see what that looks like. 22 points. Fairly safe. Well, fairly safe. Mu takes an A and an E, so that's not safe. It's vulnerable to five letter plays. It's just safe in terms of this middle triple word square. And the rack leave is horrendous. Sight does have promise. What about a play down from the U of U2? Not seeing anything, and I'm not seeing anything parallel to Ion. So, and what about through the V? I could play Vig, 14 points, keeping Metic. I'm not seeing anything better than this. Jism for 11. Well, not great. I survive the vowels. I draw only consonants, but the V scuppers bingo prospects. And there's nothing in this rack which is massively worth sacrificing points to preserve. So if I could play Vittal, I think I'd be reasonably happy to do so. I like Jism in the sense that it's, it doesn't provide an easy scoring spot in column 11. There are letters which go after G, but E isn't one of them. So I've still got the C for Scion, but... There's still the caveat that that takes an S in front, so I don't wish to rush into playing in that spot. And the G not taking the E rules out Vittel in column 11, so I don't have it anywhere for that play. Wow! Opponent with the first blank. And another bingo, 66 points, goes into the lead. I do now have a spot for Vittel in column 12 because M-double-E is good. 
do I have a bingo? And the floaters are I, T and E, all of which duplicate or triplicate tiles on my rack and I'm not seeing a bingo. So what about playing Vittel down here? What about playing Evict? I think this does everything. Sorts out the duplicate T, scores well, leaves a decent rack leave. Just pausing in case there's a, a bingo I've overlooked, but I don't think there is. Wow, that is horrendous, having kept L-E-T. This is a brutal four-tile pickup. Should I change anywhere for the queue? Well, there are a couple of eyes available for chin, but the rack leave is poor. And I trail by one, but opponent's on turn, so... And I now trail by 40. I'm just thinking about changing. It's going to be a slow journey back if I play Chin. Unless I'm super lucky. And I could keep ENT, keeping the N for Novum. Which a play of Chin would take away only one end to come well unless there's a good cue spot and I'm looking around for one right now then I'm going to change I can't see anywhere great for the cue so what I didn't do in my last game when I messed up was I played enter at this point on my keyboard when I should have clicked done so I draw four vowels and that would be the argument in favour of keeping two consonants more than vowels. I kept one more and paid the price. Opponent now scoring steadily and has an 80 point lead. Can I come back with a bingo? So I have five vowels on my rack. Where are the consonants? Do I have anything with an N? No, how about an L? No, and a T it would have to end in T. Or end C or T. Not seeing anything. What to do about the top right where opponent has played? I'm not sure there's very much I can do there. I think Tau, maybe. 28 points. Now, no ends left, so I could play over for only 12 and keeping a vowel heavy rack, but that does take an N in front. Not massively useful, but it might spook opponent. Is this the right thing to do? The score is certainly grim. I'd rather play off double O and well I am attracted to playing off just double O because A E I N T is really nice. So where are the spots for double O? And I either want to create new lanes or not take out existing ones. So I could play it here for ten. Setting up a really, well, a fairly hot triple letter square. And what are the points I'm sacrificing f to achieve this? Maybe 20 points over what I could have got top right with something like Tau, but this rack leave is strong. This is the final N, only two T's to come, so it's really only vulnerable to vowels. And I may also suffer from having a bingo with nowhere to play it. How am I doing for time? Seven minutes left. This is poor. So anywhere better for double O. No, I am. I'm going with this. So that has worked out. That looks promising. 
So I would have date line onto an E. There are no floating E's. Do I have a 7? Well, I, I may not have a 7. Wow, nice play by opponent, 54 points. So I trail by a lot now. A bingo is not going to be enough. So it is a nice rack. I'm not seeing a 7 with this rack. There could be one. It's going to be high probability. Only 7 minutes on my clock. Let me consider the floaters. What about the N? No, not seeing anything. How about the I? Not seeing anything. And how about the T? No, and what about the C? No, wow, this is brutal. This is just the time I need to, to bingo to get back in the game, and I'm not seeing one. I'm short on time. Tide land onto a D. Well, I've considered all of the available floaters. No pairs of tiles to consider. S and I, perhaps. Very precise. Is there really nothing with an I? No, not that I can see. Let me just consider six minutes on my clock. So I've got the anti prefix with D E L, D, dentalia onto an A, E, nothing, I, L, N, T. I'm not saying anything. There is a nice seven letter lane in column 14. So what to do here? Just five minutes on my clock and 29 tiles to come. This is madness. How can I open a lane? Or really, how can I sort my rack out? And the trouble is I'm looking at a situation where I'm wreck racking, which is I don't want to do because I have a nice rack. So I can, I could play Eld down here. Okay, let me make that Eld for 24 points. Yeah, I'm going with this. Well, I wrecked the rack. I've drawn a J, I've drawn a U, so I'm not bingoing this turn. I have Junta in row B. Nowhere super hot for the J. Eild takes nothing in front. I've blocked a spot for the J, but that would only have been useful with an O for Jaw and Jow, and all the O's have been played. Wow, this is close to a bingo. If the A had been an E, I would have Jaunty. Not sure that there would be anywhere for that, though. Wow, I think that is game over. Fantastic bingo by opponent. 82 points, 18 tiles in the bag, 4 minutes on my clock. So what do I want to do here? Well, certainly play off J, A and U, I guess. So I think I will play Junta. The J not massively dangerous in second position. And in any event, I, I need a volatile board. So, a lot of vowels, but they're nice vowels. Do I have a bingo here? Not seeing a seven. So, floating... This T is quite nice. Not seeing anything. I can play add G top left to leave quite a decent rack leave. I bet it may be drawn to the middle of the top row. He's not. Okay, so only one point tiles. 
what do I want to do here? Play AE, I guess, in terms of maximizing bingo prospects, and I'm not going to score much without a bingo. So I can play AE here, creating a lane for 13 points. Okay, so do I have a bingo now? Nice play by opponent, I'm nearly 200 points behind. So I have a raiders and a rides. Does either of those play? Ammo not good. What about the top here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a lane. Dick has blocked Raiders and also blocked column 12. Do I have anything ending in T? No. Now, does... I think a ride plays, plays here. It does. Few. That is A bingo. And I don't think I'm going to do any better. And I draw the Q back on my rack. So, what can I do with this? Is there a spot for for cat? Two minutes on my clock. Opponent's got GPS on his rack. Does he have two outs? He doesn't have any outs that I can see. I'm certainly not going out in one, but am I stuck with the queue? Wow. I could be. No, I'm not, because there's an I for chi in yield. And then I would have flat on my rack. So I also have cat bottom right. But the A may be useful. One minute on my clock. Where is the best spot for the queue? Am I missing anywhere really good? No, I think I'll play Chi and then look around for a spot to play flat. 2-2 two, two is good, but flat does not have an anagram. Flat double T, not good. Flat doesn't play around Tweedia. Just eight points for opponent, so he's opened nothing. So where can I score with my F? Opponent's got G and S, so is he going out with that? Probably. But I'm not seeing where, and I'm short on time, so I think I'll focus on, on my own rack. Fatly is good, but UL isn't. So few lanes, and the board was so open earlier. So I have Elf down here for 18 points. What about IS? Fistal not good. 30 seconds on my clock. Any other spots for my F? Well, nowhere great, and I'm mainly looking for spots where I can go out, so I'm going to play Elf. And I can surely go out with AT in lots of places. Well, opponent goes out, where does he play? Gas for 7, A11. Okay, nice out move by opponent. And the final score. 347 for me, 490 for my opponent, a winning margin of 143 points, so well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. So it was opponent to go first, and what a dream rack. Goes down with hernias. And now... Wow, I have honesty in column 5 as a double-double, 52 points. I don't play that. I play hefty for 28. Well, my rack leaves a lot better, but it's not 24 points better. Opponent's rack. 
plays ooh. And now Bowlines, the, the, the only bingo, delighted to spot that. I lead, an opponent has got an awful rack, plays U2. Now C3 Ovum, that was my play, not seeing anything better. Opponent plays Ion, and I have a small lead now, but a tricky rack. D1, Civet through the V, interesting, 26 points. Yeah, I think I sacrificed too many points here when I play Jism. I keep Tice, but I don't think Tice is 15 points more than GIM. And the Civet play, although it opens column one, covers the double letter square, so it's only worth a point or two. But on pure score and rack leave, Jim is worth, it's going to be negative, maybe minus five. And Tice, I would say, is positive maybe three or four so there could be an eight or nine point difference and there's a 15 point difference in scores so i think civet edges it loses a couple of points for opening the triple but still a better play now and if i had played civet i think opponent would have had a bingo through that he would have had icterine but that's not how to judge a move so opponent's rack does have a bingo plays erinite and takes a 50 point lead and evict I think is best and just one point between us opponent plays Zoa and now I have an awful rack and I change so A11 pent 26 points keeping DLQ well I trail by 40 so I would trail by 14 after this play Q is only worth minus, minus 9. DLQ together probably worth about minus, somewhere between minus 15 and minus 20. So I think Pent and Changing are, are close, with Pent probably slightly better. But given the closeness, I would rather take my chances with a, a better rack lead than trying to struggle on with DLQ, especially with only one U to come. So I don't think changing it was terrible. Opponent's rack plays Zainali. Now A12. Ah, why can take an A in front. EOAN, I think that would have been a much better play than the one I made, which was double O for 10, keeping Atine. Obviously EOAN, a much better score. And it's taking out the danger of column 15, but it's also taking out useful floaters. And double O left a really good rack leave. Now, opponent's rack plays Pyrex. And here we go. I trail by 110. I desperately need a bingo. Do I have one? No, I don't. However, Pyrexial for 60. I didn't see that. Well done if you did. And a decent rack leave. So that would have been the play. Instead, I play Yield for 24. And great bingo by opponent of Tweedia to seal the win. Now got a 170 point lead. I played Junta. I could have played Java in row D, retaining the U, but getting 10 more points. And Tune, not a bad rack leave because the N helps the U. Opponent's rack, not great. Plays a Jar. Wow, another... 60 point extension of Pyrex overlooked. I play AE. No vowels at all for opponent, however, manages to score well with Dick and could have put an S on the end of that for another 12 points. And Arides the only bingo. And interestingly, if opponent had played Dick's, Arides would have been blocked. So the end game, the bag is empty. I trail by 130. This is opponent's rack. Plays Berg. And just looking for the first Q spot in its cat. So there was nowhere great for the for the Q. So I think I did the right thing in getting rid of it. And opponent could have gone out with pegs L9. Where's that? Ah, through this second E of Tweedia. 
He doesn't. Plays par. I do not have an out. And I play L for 18. I could have got three more points. N8. For flat running underneath Tweedia. Well, I didn't see that. And finally, opponent goes out with gas for seven. But A2 could have played Sug as and a go. So, what a game. Great start for opponent with hernias. I came back into it with bow lines and we were jolly close. And then in the middle, I hit some he heavy weather and opponent zoomed off with both blanks, Aeronite and Tweedia. And just continued extending his lead while I struggled to get a bingo down. I did get a rides down, but it was nothing like enough. And opponent went on to win by a handsome margin. So congratulations to my opponent on his victory. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.